The cells of the distal convoluted tubule play a really important role in reabsorbing certain ions back into the body. Ions such as sodium, chloride, and calcium. How does this work? Well, first you must remember that these cells at the basolateral membrane have the sodium potassium ATPase pump. What does it do? It takes sodium from inside the cell and throws it out of the cell, ultimately going back into the blood. And takes potassium from outside the cell and throws it into the cell. So this means that this cell is void of sodium, which means there's now a concentration gradient. And the sodium that's in the tubule can actually move down its concentration gradient and go into the cell. This provides energy for some other ions to piggyback and move in. These ions include chloride. So chloride is also moving in to the cell of the distal convoluted tubule as well. And this chloride can actually just diffuse out through chloride channels into the blood being reabsorbed. Beautiful. Now at the same time, you've got calcium channels allowing calcium to move into these cells. And this calcium that's inside can actually go down to another channel and be thrown out into the blood to be reabsorbed and it does this by actually swapping with sodium that's in the blood. So that sodium that's in the blood gets thrown back into the cells of the distal convoluted tubule, and then that sodium can be swapped again for the sodium potassium pump, going in, going out, going in, going out. But it allows for calcium to be reabsorbed. Now, thiazide or thiazide-like diuretics, what they do is they stop the sodium chloride channel. So these two ions remain in the tubule, pulling water towards it, working as a diuretic. But what this means is that no sodium is going in, so this cell is empty or void of sodium. And we can't get it in through this channel, so what we do is we try and pull whatever sodium we can from the blood. And so we do it via the calcium exchanger here. So that sodium goes in exchanging for calcium, and it ramps it up to try and get more, more, more sodium in, but it means it's throwing more and more calcium out. So through thiazide and thiazide-like diuretics, you actually reabsorb more calcium, and at the same time, pay out that sodium and chloride.